Well, hi there. Are you and Dada going to have a sleepover together? It's really hard for the camera to focus on you, buddy. You're so dark. <laughs> Come on. What are you doing, silly man? Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to another Lego Lover 117 vlog. I am your host, Lego Lover 117, currently in bed as I'm getting ready to go to sleep. Hello. <laughs> it's that time of year again. It's vlog season, pretty much, where I take a bunch of vacations during the summer and I vlog all of them, and you guys get to see mostly what happens. We're going to Hilton Head Island once again. This is my favorite vacation spot in the whole wide world. I've been going here since I was very young it's very special to me and i'm finally going to get to show my fiance hope why it's so special and why it's so great see this is what the real youtubers will never show you they won't show you the real raw side of themselves it's all professional lighting and sets and everything me i'm just laying here on a pillow with awful lighting getting ready to go to sleep this time though it's not going to be as long because my parents my brother his girlfriend and my grandparents have been down there since Thursday actually today is Friday day I'm recording this we leave tomorrow morning on Saturday and everyone comes back on Wednesday except for Hope Hope is actually flying back to Louisville from South Carolina on Monday because her new job during the summer she substitute teaches right now since the school year is over in about a week, she won't have a job anymore, so she got a summer job teaching summer school. She has orientation, a whole bunch of training stuff that's mandatory throughout this next week, and she didn't know about it literally until like three hours ago. So her mom booked her a flight back home early in the morning on Monday around 11 a.m. or so, and she'll be back in Louisville by 3 p.m. then so she can attend her mandatory uh, training and stuff for her job. If you watched previous vlogs from previous years, you'll know what Hilton Head looks like. I've vlogged it many times here in my long and tenacious YouTube career. So without further ado, let me go ahead and turn this off and go to sleep so I can wake up not bright but very early at 4 a.m. What are you doing? Are you trying to eat my watch? That's not for you. Hey, why don't you come over here? Why don't you come over here and tell everyone how much you love Dad? Hmm? Wow, that was a long speech. <laughs> Well, it's the next morning. How are we feeling? Good. I'm not really that sleepy. Me either. I'm surprised. It's 4.55 in the morning. I know. This is probably the earliest I've been up all year. I, I would say the same. I don't wake up this early for church. <laughs> no. When I'm, when I'm there in the mornings, like when I'm volunteering, I usually wake up around 6.30. I'm going to try to stay awake the whole time with you. Why? It's because... Also, look at my chicken. His name's Popo. Don't worry, he's going with her on the plane. She yes. won't. She won't be alone. So anyway, we are. We're not out of the city yet. I had to get gas, but we're now, across the from my subdivision. But now, now we're ready. We're going to Busey's. It's called Bucky's, not Busey's. We're going to Busey's. No, stop it. It's on our way, and we figured, you know, why not? It's like 80 miles from here. That's like an hour and 25 minutes already out of the drive, so why the hell not? We have a lot of babies. So we first came here back when this place first opened, and it was packed. We came in the afternoon on like a Sunday. There were so 
so many people here, but right now it's actually not crowded at all. You would think for it being, you know, 6.45 in the morning that there would be more people here, but there's really not. You know, I can comfortably record over here and be totally fine. I, I don't know. I love how Hope is currently looking at food, and I'm over here in the souvenir section because, of course, I am. I'm doing my best not to spend anything here that's not food related, but it's really hard because this plush is very adorable. And I feel like on my way back, I might, I might buy one, but I don't know. I don't need it. What would I do with it? <laughs> but it's so cute. This is like a knockoff Squishmallow. Looks like he's got a pot belly or something. Look, Bucky's Hall, we got uh, some pretzels with che cheese on them, with chocolate on them. Are those the beaver? I don't think chip? these are beaver chips. These are just tater hot. That's so sad for you. But I, I got cream cheese kolach, kolachi. Kolachi? Whatever that means. Fancy big word. We got a egg and cheese and bacon biscuit thing. Goldfish one. This replaces the Egg McMuffin for my breakfast today. Which I don't normally eat breakfast. But... Same but hungry. You have a nice crunch. It looks fresh. Uh -huh. well, let's do a taste test, alright. Mmm. Let's go. She's got this love and it's locked up tightly. Can't break the code and it's driving me crazy. She's got this love and she shines so brightly. I'm working up the nerve now. Act like I got it figured out. I make my move, I play it real All right, folks. Well, I probably should have done a little vlog entry before we got here but we're here at the house check it out this is my portion of the bedroom that's my bed my brother and i are sharing a room hope and i are not sharing a room because we're not married yet my mom is uh that's one of her rules i guess she paid for the house so i can't really say no to it but this is me and my brother's room like I said, that's my bed. I cannot remember the last time I slept in a twin bed. Honestly though, probably the best part of the room, at least to me, is how big our bathroom is. I mean, it's huge. This big old shower here that, for some reason, has a seat in it. <laughs> I don't know why. Big old mirror vanity and everything, trying not to show my myself too much on camera. I'm not wearing a shirt right now and that's kind of, I wouldn't say I'm ashamed of my weight right now. I'm not like in a terrible spot. I just look like I'm heavier than I am. I'm gonna hop in the shower hoping I just swim in the pool. It was really fun. We ate at Hudson's tonight, which throw a picture of the logo here on screen. We also got photos. Look at these pictures. Aren't they cute? Look at us. We're your favorite power couple. Tomorrow, the forecast is not looking too great. So depending on that, there might be some beach footage, there might not be, and then uh, I know we're going to go to the Salty Dog store, which I have not been to since I was very young, and I haven't had a Salty Dog shirt since I was very young, so that's one of the things that Hilton Head is famous for, is the Salty Dog Cafe, so. Rise and shine. I'm being harassed. Because it's time to get up no, and go to the beach. No, it's not. It is. Come on. 
Let me get it up. <laughs> Arise and shine. He says, listen, I want to be obedient to what God called you to do. I, I know I'm not sinful, but God called you to preach this. God called you to baptize people, and I will submit myself to that calling. So before we got here, you were, you were searching for how many shark attacks there were off the coast of Hilton Head Island. There's about to be another one. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh no, it's another victim. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. Is it a book? Well, there's band aids. Hi, Roscoe. Ernest is asleep, but Roscoe is asleep also. He fell back asleep. <laughs> Who's a pretty bird? You? But you're pretty too. Yeah. It works. That's a piece of a corpse. Cool team. You guys made me ink. Keep digging. <gasps> wow. Look at that thing. Where is he? Go wash it off in the ocean. No way. There's like little shells. That is freaking cool. Let's go wash it. I thought all we'd find was jellyfish. Nope. Just a bunch of dead ones. You know what species that is? Hey, little guy. What's up? He's just chilling like he's not even mad. Yeah, hold so, him still. Okay. Get a... Hey, little guy. I need to oh. put sunscreen on my back. How are you? This crab literally has not left. He's just hanging out with us. I made him an arch. His name, like, is, his name is Giuseppe. He's he's like curling his things like that. And then she built an arch. I'm not really sure why, but it's a nice arch. Because I know how. What do you think about that, Giuseppe? Good talk. So since it's just me and you, let's show the house. Okay, give we're us, gonna... Give us the tour. This is the living room. One of the living rooms. Well, I guess I, I guess this is the main living room. The other one's kind of a den. Let's go. This is a little breakfast area where I didn't sit this morning. Island. This is where I did sit for breakfast this morning. It's crazy how you, you think that we're in the kitchen, but we're really not. What? It's like a mirror or window thing. Here's the den I was telling y'all about. 
It's kind of like a secondary living room. It's nice though. I like it. I'll but if we look out here, there's the pool, which is amazing. Uh -huh. Big deck. Now show us the West Wing. <laughs> now this is where you might get a little puppy you're supposed to stay with you. That's a foyer like something. Don't. If you go over there, that's what Carol Larry's? Yeah. Yeah, that's her bedroom. Grandma and Grandpa's room. This is me and Angelina's room. That's Angelina's bed. This is my bed. Got a nice view of the pool, TV. It's their bathroom. It's YouTube on the TV last night. Oh, that's the bathroom. It's all my stuff over there. That's his parents' room. Parents' room. Their bathroom's connected. Go up these stairs. Do do do. Down this way. Here's our private deck overlooking the neighbor's pool for some reason. This is Devin's bed. Then there's closet that. Big bathroom, which I showed you all last night, but I'll show it again. Hello. Then my area, which again you all saw last night. You wouldn't think it would be that big from just looking at it outside, but it's long. Like there's there's no second floor or anything, but it feels like there could be one. If you stacked the bedroom area on top of the house, it would I don't know what I'm saying. Like if this is such if, a long hallway. That's why I call it the West Wing, because it's like I have to go all the way to the end. Get this one. Oh, hi. This is a rare shot where the beach isn't covered in jellyfish. I know. Well, there's still some. Well, it's not covered. Hi, sea cucumber. It was Kevin the sea cucumber. House. What is that? Palm tree island. I figured they would like charge at a checkpoint for sweatshirts, so I got it. We're still on the island, though. No, for real? Yeah. Oh, for real? <laughs> I don't want you to go either. Well, I just dropped Hope off at the airport. She got through security. All right, I stayed until she, she got out of there, and she's on her way to find her gate. Well, I knew I'd be sad, like, because she wasn't going to be able to stay the whole time. But I didn't think I'd be this sad. Like, it's, it's really sad. I guess that's how it feels when you love someone and you just want them to be with you for as long as possible. And, like, we were having so much fun over this last day. I'm sure you saw it, the footage. She's going to see this and think I'm being mushy, but um, I... I really do love her. Like I love her so much, and I want her to. I want her just. I wanted her to see everything. I mean, quarter I, mile. Turn right onto William Hilton Parkway. My stupid GPS is going to cut me off throughout this entire clip here. But I told her before we left that she got the speed Hilton Head experience because uh, we saw pretty much everything. We saw all the big stuff. You know, we saw Harbor Town. We saw Caligny Plaza. Turn right onto William Hilton Parkway. Saw uh, the Piggly Wiggly. Saw a bunch of like souvenir shops and everything. She found a bunch of seashells on the beach. Got to see the beach and everything. William Hilton Parkway for half a mile. 
So it's not like she came and didn't do anything. I mean, yesterday it was supposed to storm like all day, but it didn't. Now I'm like wondering when we're going to come back because she was even like, I want to, she, she even threw out the suggestion that we honeymoon here, which I had, I've always kind of had in the back of my mind. That's uh, that's something to discuss down the road when actually we plan this wedding because we haven't planned anything yet. I know, coming up on a year of being engaged and there's like no planning whatsoever. We came to a, a mutual agreement that until I find a new job, we're not doing any new wedding planning, which that's something else in itself that needs to work itself out. I wasn't expecting to buy anything. But I have not seen this Michael Keaton Batman anywhere back home. You're coming home with me. <laughs> yeah, you see what he just did? Yeah. Yeah. So you see that? I do that to your finger. <laughs> So I can't remember if I've showed this on camera or not, but this is my little setup here. You know what, let's go wide angle for this. Check that out. This is my bed. It's kind of ghetto a little bit. Kind of wobbles, but that's okay. It's a nice twin. And we got this dinky little TV here, but it's actually pretty nice because when I lay, I lay right here, I can see it really well. Um, Converting some episodes of Big Bang Theory right now on my computer to go on the media server, so yeah, that's the greeter. <laughs> Well, folks, it's it's my last day here in Hilton Head. It's the saddest day of the trip. It's when everyone has to, you know, pack up and pack up the cars and everything. And it just, it stinks. You know, I'm not going to mince words. It sucks when vacations end. They're fun while they last, but then you're like, oh, man, now I got to, now I got to go back home. I got to go back to work and all this, all this bullshit. So uh, I'm walking down to the beach for one last little one last little look here. We actually didn't get to go to the beach today. It, we thought it was going to rain all day, but we should have learned from Sunday when it was supposed to rain and it didn't. Uh, so me and my parents went on a tour of a distillery. But yeah, then we went to the outlet mall, uh, Ten Tanger Outlets, I think it's called. Went and hung out around there, then ate at Hudson's for a second time because it's just that good. And I have some ideas. I have a couple figures with me in my backpack here uh, to take a couple more pictures. Here's a couple of the ones I took the other day. I think they're pretty good. But I have a really funny idea 
for King Shark from the McFarlane Toys DC Universe line. I think it's going to be hilarious. We'll find out, though. Well, I just got out of this store called The Tangled Web. It's a really cool local comic book shop. I just saw it on Google when I was searching for stuff around here. My parents and grandparents are about 45 minutes behind me, so I figure, hey, why not waste, you know, a half hour somewhere here in Spartanburg, South Carolina? I've never been here before, so... And the Tangled Web was really cool. Uh, the guys in there that ran it were really nice. I got to talk to them for a little bit. The main owner told me in a few months, it'll be 28 years since they opened up, which is, that's, that's impressive. It's older than me. Of course, bought some stuff. I spent way too much money in there as per usual, but it was a cool place and they, they, they were really nice. I wanted to help them out a bit, so. I'm gonna try to do this as I'm driving on the freeway. Um, oh, this is a, what is this? It's a Marvel previews issue thing. This was free. I don't really know what it is, but it was kind of cool. I'm gonna take this down because I don't need this there anymore. That was to get me into the area where we were staying at in Hilton Head, but we won't be back there, so. Grab this trade paperback of Star Wars. Uh, the main comic series, this is volume three of the main comic series. This is, it's weird how comics are laid out. This is the third mainline Star Wars series, but this volume that I'm looking at here is volume five of the trade paperbacks. It collects issues 26 through 30. So there's that. I had a ton of these little books here. These are like reprints of older books for popular characters. So I got Detective Comics number 27, first appearance of Batman. It's a reprint, I know, but it is pretty cool to have. I've never read his first appearance. They also had uh, the first appearance of the Justice League, where they fight Starro the Conqueror who was the main, well, one of the main villains in James Gunn's Suicide Squad. This one was a big one. This is the one that got me. This is Action Comics number one. Again, reprint, but really awesome to have that first appearance of Superman. And the last one, I don't remember. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's the Incredible Hulk number one. Again, another reprint. I don't know. I, I guess these are new. I'd never heard of these before, but it's really awesome uh, to see those. They also had the the Avengers where Kang first appeared. They had Superman's first comic where he was where he got his own solo series first before he or after he appeared in Action Comics. I didn't pick that one up either. They also had first appearance of Wonder Man uh, from Avengers. So Marvel and DC are getting into the reprint game. Oh, they also had Amazing Spider-Man number one and Amazing Spider-Man number 127, first appearance of the Punisher. This was a really solid little stack here I got from the store. So, shout out to the Tangled Web. If the guys there ever see this video, your guys' store is awesome, and I hope to be and I hope to be back one day. So, keep keep doing what you're doing.
I think six hours and like 15 minutes left to go here on this drive. I'm going to stop for lunch at some point, but I don't know when. Spirits are still high though. I haven't reached my inevitable crash yet, but don't worry, I'll get there. <laughs> One last finishing touch. Ha! <laughs> Finally! She's done! Oh! Hey, R7. I, I didn't hear you there, little guy. the end of the Hilton Head vlog. I thought I finished that already. Oh, no, 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 you're right, you're right. I never shot an ending for that. You know, normally I'd be upset because you interrupted my building time, but... You're new around here, R7, so I'll give you a pass for that. Thanks for watching the vlog for Hilton Head 2023, everybody. If you're wondering how long it took to get this vlog out, uh, I took this trip at the end of May, and it's now coming out in the middle of September. So most of that was not me trying to put this video together. There weren't any production problems. I was just lazy and didn't want to do it. <laughs> there was kind of another reason, though. My old Google Pixel 2, which I've been using as just a camera over these last few years, uh, its battery is completely shot now. Trying to get the footage off of that phone was tedious at best. So that was part of the reason why this vlog took so long to come out. Some of the footage here was shot on that old Pixel 2 and since the battery is no longer in working condition, that took a long time to get that footage off that phone. I got two more big vacation vlogs coming out uh, by the end of this year. One of them features the origin story of a certain lovable scamp of a droid who you just met earlier. Again, I want to thank y'all so very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next vlog. Good night, everybody.